Yo, what is going on, Sexy Samuel Letter Squad? I'm here playing Kleena, the new Banshee, Queen of the Banshee. She's the new god in Smite. She is a physical assassin. If you didn't see my first look, go back and watch that first look. I've run over all the abilities. Or just stay in this video and watch this because I'm going to run over the abilities anyways once you load in the game. But basically, she is a ability-based assassin doing incredibly high damage. She walks through walls. She does so much, um, I guess, like, DC in a sense. Her two is a targeted blind. Her one stops all, um, sound. It deafens the game and silences the enemy. Her three is just straight up a dash and a claw, claw slammy boy. And, uh, her alt is basically a trap, but also like a raw alt, but also like an outwash alt all at the same time. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. If I just try to sit here and explain it, it makes absolutely no sense. Um, this is the new the new map. I'm not quite sure what... Oh, these stealth you. That's sick. So all these little things around here that you can auto once actually puts you into a stealth. That's really cool. Stealth. I think. I think it stealths you. I could be completely wrong, but judging on how my character looked while I was standing in it, it looked like a stealth. Now, you just heard her scream. She's extremely loud. She's a banshee. Obviously, banshees are, are known for having ear-piercingly loud screams, which disorient their enemy before they eat them alive. That's actual facts. Or not, I mean, technically not a fact. It's lore, but you know what I mean? So I'm going to go in this wall here. I'm going to dash out. I'm just... Boom! And that's her early aggression, dude. That early aggression you get out of this character, being able to dash that far out of the walls is so insane. Like, you're just always ready to gank. And it's not even like you're... You're new, you know, like, like, oh, look, she's, she's just a new character and people don't know how to play against her yet. It's literally just you. What's the counterplay? Like, it's insane to think about, but it's so crazy because she is so her, her damage output is so good too, right? Like you have that closing and chasing potential. Then you have the silence with the deaf in, so they can't even chase you, even if they wanted to. Look at this. I can gank again. Unfortunately, she did turn into a butthole, so I couldn't couldn't do everything there, but crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy. And for those wondering, uh, the enemies, if you are in the wall next to them, it's not a complete quote-unquote stealth or untargetability. It's, well, I mean, you are untargetable, but you can actually see a debuff on you know your normal debuff bar if you're the enemy and there is a uh a cleaner close to you it pops up and it's like hey dude banshee's about to jump on you stab you in the face with the claw maybe be on the lookout a little bit so it does give you some warning not a lot of warning to be honest too little of a warning but there is a warning <laughs> And it's crazy because her movement is so fast. Like, look at this. I can just go in this wall, right? And then dash out of this wall, straight into the red buff camp and pull it. Like her, her, her movement is so fluid and so fast. She can, all, you know how when you're fighting those junglers who seem like they're really, really good at the game and you're like, holy crap, this guy's everywhere. She is, <laughs> she is everywhere. Like, look. This guy can't see me. Can't see me. Can't see me. I just go in the wall. I just go in the wall and dash completely through the wall. Straight under the Tsukiyomi. Use my one. He's dead. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? And watch this. Watch this. Watch this. And then I'll set up a couple, uh, couple alts right there. Just for in the future. When that Tsukiyumi comes back, or maybe the Freya wants to check that purple buff, that wall alt, well, well, both of them, will pop off doing insane damage and slowing them 
and they won't even be able to run away. Let's say, you know, my team is aggressive of them. They won't be able to run away or vice versa. Um, they won't be able to chase my enemy if my or chase my team if my team is getting clapped up. You know what I mean? Um, it looks like this Kronos wants to fight somewhere. Okay, he did turn into a butthole, unfortunate, but that's what happens. Um, I'm just warding everywhere, man. I'm warding everywhere, making sure I'm getting some good farm going. Oh, you 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 saw those damage numbers pop up? I just did 500 damage to the Freya. I did 532 damage to the Freya. Right there. Here's an army is here. You won't get the cake. Oh, you got him? Oh. Damn. Oh, you got him though. You got him though. Let's go. Nice. Nice, Colonel. And you died to tower. That's awesome, dude. That's actually sick. Yeah, it's crazy. Because like you saw. I was literally in duo lane. Or I'm sorry. I was literally in solo lane. And I did 600 damage to the ADC in, while he was in duo lane. Because I just set up my alt trap. And here we go on this guy again. Oh, I missed the alt. That's all right, though. The alt is on such a low cooldown. It's not even a big deal. Not even a big deal. And I want to gank here if I can. Dude, crazy DPS, man. I'm completely invisible to the to the fray right now. Nice, and then my alt gets that kill. Let's go. She's insane, bro. Absolutely insane. And I gotta get to my Kronos. I'm gonna dash through this wall. Very nice. There's a triple kill on him. A triple kill. Run, dude, run. That's a quadra, baby. That's a quadra kill. The first ever quadra kill with Kleena. There it is, boys. You just, you saw it here. You don't get better Kleena gameplay than this. Six kills, six minutes. Insane movement. I mean, I told you right, right from the start. Her movement is incredible. And her early game aggression is like, it's not, you, like, you can't stop it. It's so good. I wonder if I can... Oh, there's a clean over there. There's a clean over there. Attack. There it is, baby. There it is, baby. There's someone coming. Oh, there's a Tsukiyomi here. Attack. Nice, I slowed him. I'm gonna walk in this wall so that he can't hit me. But I'm also gonna dash out so that it, he can't get away. Now, I didn't get the kill there, but it will be secured by the Sobek. And we're gonna finish off these guys. And oh my god, look at this damage. Look at this combo. What, like, what can you do to get away from her? She's so good. Just dash straight through there in order to get this buff. Make sure that the Freya can't get it. Um, is Freya here? She's not here. She's not here. I want to go in the wall here. Go in the wall here. Use my alt to cut her off. So now my alt is going to cut her off. She's going to have that slow. Very nice. Very nice. Doing so much damage. Pumping out so much CC. It's not even... Honestly, it's not even technically CC. It's just controlling the map. Right? Like, you, th this alt is so long that you can use it to cut off entire areas of the map. Because if people run through it, they take a crap ton of damage. Because, you know, it's it's a slow and it's also tick damage, like I said, kind of like outpost alt. Um... So, you can't just walk through it. You really have to be respectful of the ult. Yes, we can. 
And it's very difficult to be respectful of an alt when you don't know it's there because I put it on a wall and you're completely screwed. You know what I mean? So. All right. She should be dead. Oh, big damn. Big damn. Not quite able to kill this guy, unfortunately. I can walk in the wall, though. Maybe do a little bit of extra damage. Maybe I want to all attack this. Oh. Uh oh. I saw him. I saw him walk into the wall, and I had to dip. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> There's a Freya here, huh? Dude, her damage output. I'm telling you, it blows my mind every time. All right, I have nine kills at nine minutes. There's no way this character's not just... Like, I'm not going to call her broken because, uh, you know, she just came out today and I'm sure nobody knows what the hell to do with her, you know? Because how are you supposed to know after playing a character for like 30 minutes? Oh my God, I know the meta. Oh, I know everything about her, you know? Uh, you'd be an idiot to say that, but... Dude, she is so much fun. Like, they just surrendered at 10 minutes. Oh my god, it's so insane. She's so good. Anyways, I, I just wanted to show off a Conquest game because I wanted you guys to see how good she actually is in a Conquest setting as well as a real jungler, ganking, moving, all that stuff. And I wanted to, to show you guys what she can really pull off, not in a dual setting when they're expecting it, but in a Conquest setting when you have so much more to focus on. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.